Good morning, everyone. So the baby woke me up, otherwise I probably would have slept till like 10. My face is so puffy because I'm so tired. I've gotten very minimal sleep in the last 48 hours. Even my lips are bigger than normal. But I have my skincare here and I need to get to the bathroom because I have to pee. But I don't want to just like announce to the family. was like the electronics and the books and the plants and the skincare and the painting everything else I left in the van so it's froze overnight because there's still snow on the ground here let me show you that is snow outside my bedroom I took all my paintings out because I didn't want them in the bag any longer. I just stuck them on the bed. I wasn't sure if keeping them in a bag for too long would like wreck them because it's oil and I haven't done oil before and I'm still getting used to it. So. My eyes are so puffy. I'm not looking forward to moving a ton of stuff. But it'll have to be done. Okay. Yellow. <laughs> Shy. Just before this whole thing to be shorter. <laughs> what do you think? It's cute. I'm gonna have to get you to help me with my baby so I can't go get them drilled. Oh. <laughs> I've been oh, trimming and taking them and getting them trimmed every three weeks. Okay, here. Are you going to keep a record, Abigail, of our adventures through the coronavirus? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is us surviving the coronavirus? Yes. Yeah. Well, before and after pictures will be nice. Yeah, for sure. We'll have a video of record and we'll just be able to watch it whenever we want. Yeah. We are doing... <clears throat> it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. We have Abigail's stuff, Sarah's stuff, Joanna's stuff, Rachel's stuff, Jonathan's stuff. Jonathan's stuff soon. Mom and Dad's stuff, Grandpa's stuff. That's all Sarah's right there. Mine and empty boxes. Which you are More shit. Yeah, we're moving stuff. This is the Wilkes living room. Child friendly. Just call family living room. Well, actually, well, my last name is on my desk and his very great masterpiece. Mm-hmm. Then we will take you down the hallway. <laughs> to a disaster room. <laughs> I did not do this. My child did. Well, okay. He did that. I had to get all our boxes up there. So this is us for now. It will be sorted out by tonight. Um this is the room I am sleeping in for the next couple of nights. It's not mine because Joanna wants this room, so 
I have to move into the one next door, which is very tiny. We'll show you the one next door. This one has the best lighting. I'm annoyed. This is the one next door that I'm moving into. Yes. She's about to sleep Probably in, the in four weeks when all of this shit is gone. Yeah. Doesn't even have a floor. That's okay. I have a rug. She has a rug. Debut of people's artwork in this house. This is my artwork. That is Rachel's artwork. Apparently. Yeah, it is. You're taking photos. Yep. At 3 30, we are taking photos of people who have been isolated because of the coronavirus. Doorstep photos. Right now. I have this box here that I have to go to the van and put all of my loose items, mostly food, kitchen stuff, in so I can bring it inside. So I have to go out to the van and take out all of my crap and put it somewhere in the clutter and mess and chaos of the Wilkes family manor because my father is renting a storage unit for any of the furniture, or boxes of stuff like books and furniture and like anything that we're not going to use or anything we don't need right now to store it in because due to the coronavirus that is the only reason why I'm moving back in here is because I lost my job in Victoria and I can't afford to live there anymore so I'm back here in my hometown and so three of the of the four adults that have moved out are moving back into the house. Uh, my younger, my youngest sister, she is still living here. She's just not here right now because she is in quarantine with her boyfriend at his place, but she is planning on coming back. And so we're like jigsaw puzzling the whole house to, to death because we don't really have, they, there, there aren't enough rooms, so we're making enough rooms. So we're getting, we're putting furniture in storage and we're putting any boxes of stuff in storage that we don't need. And yeah, so that's kind of what's happening. But in order to for us to actually transport our stuff that's going in storage to the storage unit, I have to get all my crap out of the van because it's still in there. Last night it was too late, it was dark, it was midnight, and everyone was sleeping in the house, so I left everything in the van. But now I have to bring it all in. I have a box, one of my, my bag of food items from my kitchen in Victoria broke during the trip so I'm getting a box and I'm going to put them all in the box and I'm going to start moving my stuff inside. I just have to find my coat. Okay, this is what I'm working with right now. I don't know if you guys can see but that's okay, probably not. But I forgot a bunch of food things because my bag just like ripped very badly. So the loose stuff from the bottom of the van into that box. Now I just need to bring in my mattress, my rug, blankets and pillows, and my two suitcases, and then like there's a little bit more food from like the trip. I think that's everything though. Oh, and my typewriter. I'm tired. I've had so much coffee that I'm like jittery. But I can't stop drinking it because I'm hoping it will wake me up. Also, over the last eight months, I've actually started to really like coffee, which is crazy. Because I used to not like it all that much, but 
My taste buds have matured. <laughs> Oh, the lights are on. I wonder how long those have been on for. Abigail, the lights beside your head. Storage unit. all the way up. It's great. Yep. <laughs> and that's load two. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 